Okay, so next on the theories, we'll go over cognitive theories, which is um, mostly Piaget's and uh, Vygotsky and the information processing theories. So Piaget is very famous. Um, developmental theorist and he mostly observed his own children but um, he pretty much changed the way we think about children uh, before we just thought of kids as you know the little adults but now um, after PHA people realize well you know right he's right um, children have you know their own way of thinking about the world and um, they well his theory says that they develop in four stages and um, one of the key things is that children learn through assimilation and accommodation. So basically, assimilation is just like taking things in, assimilating, and then you know they adapt, they um, incorporate things into their knowledge base, and of course they um, accommodate themselves to their environments. Basically, uh, Piaget also says that um, there is four stages, which is the sensory motor, the pre-operational, the concrete operational, and the formal operational stages. You can look that up in Wikipedia. And basically he also says that children affect their surroundings just as much their surroundings affect them. So now we'll go on to the um, Vygotsky's social culture cognitive theory. So. Um, Vygotsky social culture cognitive theory basically um, how cultural and social interactions guide cognitive development. Um, he also has the strong or proximal development, um, which is uh, what is now used today to to help children develop to their uh, environment and how their cognitive development is shaped by their environment. And then we have the um, the information processing theory, which is based on like you know computer. Your brain works like a computer. It processes information. It strategizes about the information. And so the criticisms to the cognitive theories is that um, you can't really have all these stages, and that you know cognitive development jumps around, and. Um, needs to be more descriptive and of course unlike the psychoanalytical theories cognitive theories don't really give credit to the unconscious so that's it for the cognitive theories